Welcome you all. Today we will discuss about the type of members at stock exchange. There exist different types of members or we have seen that the business can be or the trading can be done through the authorized members or the brokers who are the members that deals in the stock exchanges are explained here. First one, first are the fraud brokers. They execute the orders of the members, the brokers, and receives a share in the brokerage commission that a commission broker charges to its client. That they execute the orders of the member, members of the brokers and receive a share in the brokerage commission that a commission broker charges to its client. Second one is commission broker. They execute the orders of their customers by buying and selling securities on the exchange. They charge a specified commission on the purchase or sales value. The commission broker doesn't buy or sell securities in his own name. They deal with many clients and consequently with many securities. That is, this commission broker deals with the customers. They buy and sell, buy and sell securities on behalf of the investors. They never buy, they buy or sell securities in their own name. They can deal with so many number of the investors. Third one is jobber. A jobber are they are professional independent brokers engaged in buying and selling of specified securities in their own name. That is, jobbers are these professional independent brokers. They are engaged in buying and selling of specified securities in their own name. That is, commission brokers cannot buy their buy the shares and interest in their own name, but the jobbers can purchase the or the jobbers can buy and sell securities, specified securities in their own name. Jobbers cannot deal on behalf of the public and apart from taking commissions. They deal with brokers who in turn transacts on behalf of the public. A jobber deals in a limited number of securities which he tracks regularly. That is, jobber deals with a jobber deals in a limited number of securities which he tracks regularly and they are professionally independent brokers engaged in buying and selling of specified securities in their own name they cannot deal directly with the public they deal with the commission and who deals with the public and jobbers generally quote two prices one at which he is prepared to purchase and the other at which he is prepared to sell a security this two way price is known as double barrelled price the difference between the two party is known as jobbers turn that is usually the jobbers quotes two prices the one is the price at which they purchase the other one the price at which they sells to the commission brokers the next category is known as Theravani Wallace. That, that is, Theravani Wallace can act both as broker and jobber. That is, Theravani Wala might act against the interest of the investors by purchasing securities from them in his own name at the lowest price and sells the same security to them at the highest price. That is, they can act both as a broker and jobber. They might act against the interest of the investors by purchasing securities from them in his own name at a lower price and to sell the same securities to them at a higher price. They purchase from the investors at a low price and they can sell it to the investor at a higher price. To prevent this, the Securities Contract Regulation Act of 1956 provides that a member of stock exchange can act as a principal only for a member of the recognized stock exchange. Then, next category is known as old load dealers. They specialize in buying and selling of securities in old load. They buy old load units at a lesser price. Then, our next category is known as Bhatliwanas. They are financiers who facilitates the carry over business by financing carry over transactions. They earned the interest for the amount financed. Bhatla. Bhatla. They are financiers who facilitate the carryover business by financing carryover transactions. They earn interest for the amount financed or bad. That is, they help to carry over the business. The fourth they need but leave others. Then next category is known as the arbitrators. Arbitrators keep a close watch on the price of the shares in different markets. They buy shares in markets where their prices low and sell them into markets where their price is high.
Sub brokers are the MSCS are the agents of the stock brokers. Since they are not members of the stock exchange, he cannot directly deal in securities. He helps clients to buy and sell securities only through the stock brokers. In stock exchanges, the sub brokers are termed as remissiers. They receive a share in brokerage commission that a commission broker charges to his clients. These are the sub brokers. They are the subordinate brokers. These are the various uh, or various types of the members in the stock exchange. That is, that is the floor brokers. They execute the brokers, the orders of the brokers. Then commission brokers who helps the customers to buy. Then jobbers, they can purchase, they can, they can buy and sell securities in their own name. Then another one is the Nivalas. Uh, they buy at a low price from the investor and sells at high prices. Then, then uh, who deal with old leads are the old lead, uh, dealers. Then badli the who act as the financiers. Then arbitrage are the uh, trades in securities by taking advantages of the price differences in various markets. Sub brokers or the MCS are the sub brokers of the um, uh, brokers or they are the agents of the brokers. This is about the various types of the members in the stock market.